Welcome back. Amy Collins joins us second this afternoon. She's with Glass Act Recycling. What's going on over there at Glass Act? Well, um, this year and every year, uh, this uh, lieutenant governor puts on this big drive for Keep Louisiana Beautiful. Absolutely. And there's a week in that uh, in that drive that's called Love the Boot. Yep. And we're everyone in our community is doing something and we're doing something as well so last year we did this for the first time we have a glass drive it's throughout the school system so all of the schools in rapids parish public and private and charter schools all will uh, participate so there's this competition between the schools to bring in their glass so um on the two weekends that that wrap around love the boot that's the 19th and 20th friday and saturday and the 26th 27 also friday and saturday on the other end of the week um we're open from eight to noon like we always are but on those four days you'll be bringing your glass in and you'll be saying oh i'm with Pineville or you know this put this down so we keep track of it and everybody gets excited and we have parents that are running down the street picking up glass and like oh wait a minute I'm going to my favorite restaurant I'll get their glass we'll put it in so um, and the kids really get excited and I mean the whole purpose is to clean up uh, the landfill Absolutely. and so um, but who better to drive that message than the children yep and so what does that look like at the schools? Are there bins set up or? No, no, we, we, we thought that that would be a good idea at one time, but there seemed to be some concern over glass and breaking glass and how we're gonna get it and all that sort of stuff. So what the parents or the grandparents or the children or anybody who brings glass, they can dedicate it to a particular school. So if you were going and, and, uh, and you had glass, you would say, you'd pick your favorite school and you'd say, okay, I want my glass to go towards um, this school's tally. Gotcha. So gotcha. that's the way it works. And then on um, Monday, after this is all over, we have a, a really nice plaque that um, was made for them. It looks like it's on glass, but it's really loose side. It's green. It's real cool. Cool. And so when does all of this start? Well, it starts on the 19th. So Friday the 19th will be the day when we'll start actually tallying. So 19 and 20, 26 and 27, those four days. So we had a guy on yesterday, Roosevelt Johnson, and he uh -huh. was talking about his cleanup efforts too. So it's just good to see the community, the entire community right. get behind it. Right. And, but this isn't just a, a thing for the 19th and the 20th. This is a all year. It's true. So, um, and we have, um, well, of course, we are all open every Friday and Saturday, and we're collecting glass. We also have yellow bins that we like to have people um, uh, sign up for, and then we'll come get it. And that is a real drive right now for us, as you know, because I've been on talking about that a few times. Um, <laughs> but what the other thing is, if we're going to stay with the children for this moment, we have students from, I would say, all of the high schools where they need to do their service hours. And these kids come with enthusiasm. Sometimes they come week after week. They know what to do. They get in there and uh, they're out there helping people get glass out of their cars and trucks. And um, so all of the schools are participating one way or another. Absolutely. And so anybody that wants to participate, Miss Annie, how can they get in touch with you? Well, uh, they can check out the website if they want to. Of course, if they want to call me, they can. I'm at 504-606-4712, um, but mostly just bring your glass. And, um, and you can, oh, you can also email me, mm -hmm. Annie at glassactrecycling.com. And just kind of a little testament to what we're talking about this morning at the Junior League of Alexandria's <laughs> Empowerment Breakfast. I think you and your Glass Act were, were actually recognized we just were, for good work that you're doing we, here in the community. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for remembering it. Thank you for bringing it up again. It's all of us. Uh, including you and this station who help promote and get the word out and we do uh, awareness and and education all through venues like this so we're all in this together absolutely well thank you miss annie and thank you for coming on the show sure of course